Hello everyone, Kanichi Amina san, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be showing you how I edit my photos for primarily Instagram, but I also post these to Twitter and Facebook. So if you have seen my what's on my phone video that I did a while ago, I have a lot of the same features for editing pictures that I had before. Uh, there might be a few extra things as well, I'm not sure, but I don't think I had Face You, for example, and I didn't have iMovies, uh, but I don't use iMovies um, or Face You for editing photos necessarily. Um, these two are for their selfie filters. I primarily use Line Camera, Beauty Cam, InstaSize, and PixArt. I only use InstaSize when I really, really want the photo to fit Instagram and I don't want anything to be cut off, I don't want to crop anything. So that one's not often used, but I still do use that sometimes. You just go in, then you pick your image that you want to crop. I'm going to pick this one because I know that it is larger th than what will be allowed on Instagram and then I'm just going to click this button right here and then it creates a white border on either side and it creates it a one by one ratio so that it'll go on Instagram. Now you can pick from a variety of different options. There it is for what you want the sides to look like. I really like these space ones. And then you would just click, yep, then done. There's gonna be advertisements so that you don't have to pay. Just wait for the little X to show up. Then you can put it right to Instagram. I usually save it to my camera roll just in case I want to post it somewhere else as well. So that's that. Beauty Cam, I use this now to lighten my photos as the app I used to use. It was like Deco Pick, and there was like a few different apps for that. They got rid of it, which I was so sad because I used one of the filters for like everything. Anyway, so for Beauty Cam, I often use the Pika Pika to make your selfies you know, look a bit extra. But when I just want a pastel filter, I go to beauty, then I pick the image that I want to look more pastel, beauty, actually it said beautify, then I go to auto, and it will automatically change to the first one. I often will go to the second one, which is a little bit lighter. But as you can see right here, you can make it more intense or less intense. So that just made it even more. Now not so much. And I usually have it on the middle setting for whichever one I do use. I haven't played like around with what a lot of the other colors look like. I mainly just kind of go to this one. It's kind of my safe go-to. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark. Then save and share. And it'll automatically save to your album, which I like. Because then I can just click next and do my next one or I can just exit out. Now, line camera is what I use mainly for collages, but I also use it for the text feature. Adding text on an image, I would just go to album, pick the image that I want to add text on. This is a very random image, I know. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could figure out if this would look good on the wall. Anyways, um, which here you can pick some filters too. I have a few that I favorited right here because they give a nice pastel look. And you can crop. If it's a picture of yourself, you can touch up the skin. I often use this for maybe if I want one of those filters and then text and then... You know, if I'm gonna like watermark my photo, we'll add Koneko doll next. Then you can see the fonts that I've used recently, or you can pick through more fonts. And then you can adjust the size, the color. I often go for white, maybe not necessarily that big, but for the purpose of this, I'll leave that. Then check mark, done. Click it, 
goes away, down here to save, and then we are done. It'll take me back here, and it's saved into my photos. But like I said, I often mainly use this for collages, and I often set it to this one at one by one ratio, and then I'll go ahead and add in the pictures that I want for my album. So I'll just add in these two random ones here. Then I'll go ahead and decide how it needs to be adjusted by pinching the screen. I can also adjust the thickness or the curviness, which I often just leave it, and then save. And I usually do this first, and then I go into beauty cam, and then I use the filter here to lighten up the picture. And sometimes it's still even too dark, but I'll go ahead and save it just on that medium one. So when I bring it into Instagram and use the lighting features on here, it's going to be, you know, see if I had it at a more intense pastel color, it, it, might, it might still be a bit much having already put it to a medium pastel. And I'm not necessarily going to post this photo. So I'm just going to exit out there. But that's basically what I do. So then finally I'm going to talk about PixArt. I will start by edit. I will pick this random one again. Advertisement. I have this photo. This is how I add all my like stickers and whatnot. They actually have a feature called stickers. I use stickers. I use text in here. I use add image because I not only use this one for my Instagram photos, I mainly use this one for my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Because, you know, if I have like the main section of my thumbnail, whether it's a picture of me or something, and then there's key photo that I screenshotted from my video, like let's say I'm talking about this stuff that I have on this like little shelf, and then I want to talk about my giveaway that I'm doing, or I talked about this stuff in the video. So I add those two photos, and then I can place them wherever I want in the thumbnail. I mean, typically the thumbnails would be sideways. And then I can crop them any way I want to make it fit a little better better or like if there's too much excess going on and then that makes it a little bit smaller too so I can play around with with where I want things to go there's a little arrow to turn it and whichever one you touch will be the one on top so make sure you ha you select the one you want on top click where there's no image before you save you can also go to this plus up here while you're in editing because all the stuff down here is gone so it's up here now stickers here's some that I use more recently. So let's see. I'll add a teacup. Ooh, the pink matches. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on the bear's head because why not? Then I'm gonna go ahead and add another sticker. I'm gonna have this cute. Yay! And another thing that you can do is you could go to Google and search for an image in Google Images with the word transparent so that if you find, you say like transparent teacup, it'll just give you the shape of the teacup without all the background stuff, even if it's just like a white background. If you have transparent, it'll be that transparent like grid, it's like gray and white or something. And then you can save it from Google to your phone and then you can add it as an image. So that's what I do if I can't find one of these that I want in sticker, then I look for exactly what I want on Google Images as transparent and then just pull it into here. So I clicked apply, then I'm going to click the arrow to save it. I usually get rid of the free to edit hashtag, but since I use some of the free stickers from the site, it still has it checked there. That's fine. Then post. So like it posts on an account that you have in here, so make sure you know what you're saving and editing in this app before doing so. Then photos. So yeah. Um, when you click photos, it saves it directly to your photo albums on your phone. And then you can see the things that we just edited right in here. 
Well, that's how I edit my Instagram photos and also how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Sorry if the angles and lighting changed a bit. My batteries for my camera decided to die and then I put in another battery and it was pretty much dead. So good thing I have <laughs> free batteries for my camera. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like this type of video. If you would like to see more of these type of videos, be sure to hit the subscription button down below and click the little bell icon to be notified when I post another video. I try to post a video every Wednesday and Saturday while I do streaming on Twitch Saturday nights. I post that on Twitter and on my Instagram stories when I'm getting ready to stream. I also have all the links to everything that you might need in the description box below. Feel free to comment if you're having a hard time finding anything or if you have any questions. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!